Hey guys, what's going on? It's the assistant commish and the commish, baby. Let's do this. I love first it. First ever G Town All Stars, not just podcast, video cast. <laughs> what do they call a video cast, dude? A vodcast? Uh, it's called a vlog. Oh, there we go. I've actually been paid to do this before from a guy in our church. Can you imagine sitting here making dough right now? <laughs> we should be. Yeah. yeah. So feel free to share this um, on your YouTube channels. Um, I'm looking for a few gold sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we're going to do this, Stomp. What are we doing? So we'll, we'll break down some uh, of the commission's power rankings. We'll get the assistant commission's thoughts. We'll go team by team, reverse order. Uh, just a quick breakdown of each squad and where they're heading the remainder of the year, what we see. Uh, then assistant commission is going to take us to segment two. What we have in mind there. Yeah, segment two is actually just – it's just called scoreboard. And what we're doing is we're looking at this coming weekend, who, what are the matchups, and we're going to give you our best guess on how we think – or it's just our picks for the week, really. Um, and we're going to try and be objective about this. For instance, I'm, uh, I'm missing a half my starters this week to buys. So it's going to be that much more impressive when I – give Hilo the smackdown. So that'll be great. And then lastly, our last segment, we're just going to call it three players. We're going to focus in on three players that are hot fantasy issues right now, whether they're surging or huge busts. We're going to talk about a few guys and it might turn into more than three players, but let's take this thing away. And uh, you gave us the rankings earlier today, Kamish. What do you want to say about each team? Let's just start at the bottom, huh? Yeah. Bloody balls. Zach. I think, at this point, it's probably time to start making arrangements for a new name. Uh, it's just really not looking good for Cleats. Even even there's a little bit of talent, he seems to find a way to put him on the bench. Yeah, it, I guess what I see here with bloody Smallwood is uh, <laughs> you definitely got you've got issues with the name for sure, and then you start getting into the roster, and there's issues there. But what I really see. More new thing is he issues with the GM <laughs> picking the wrong things at the wrong time. So I'll, I'll tell you what, Smallwood, hope for better things the next couple couple weeks. Let's keep moving now. What do you think? With, what do you see with number nine, Big Daddy? Big Daddy, wow, what a fall off! After about three weeks, and I thought Big Daddy might be for real. Uh, it just hasn't come together, I guess. Rogers, I, I really expected a big bounce back from Rogers, and he's been pretty mediocre. Um, Jordy Nelson started off with a few decent games and then he's fallen completely off the map. And then what do you, I mean, it just makes it tough when Forte, you know, three weeks in a row just absolutely craps the bed. Then he puts up 400 on his bench. <laughs> yeah, painful. That's, that just that's hurts. Yep. Yep. Jimmy's the bright spot. Uh, I'm looking at that roster right now. Yeah, it's just not real bright. There's not a whole lot of hope. There's <laughs> not a lot of bright. I don't need my sunglasses, okay? Let's <laughs> move on. Now, Gentry is an interesting team because, really, it looked like the first half of that, that Monday night game, he had a real chance to hold off the Woodcocks. Yeah. And let's be honest, we were all kind of hoping he did. <laughs> no one wants to see the Woodcocks in the playoffs. <laughs> Camps or chumps, bring it on. You know what I mean? What do you make of Gentry's team right now? That's an interesting team. I could see – if Ingram can get it going, yeah. I could see a little run here. Yeah, Quiz was a great pickup. Quiz has been killing it for the, for yep. the Bucks. Yeah. Ty Montgomery was another great pickup. That's yep. solid. Um, Kelvin Benjamin has just been spooky, though. Is he going to put up a zero or is he going to drop 400? Exactly. You know, Delaney Walker was solid. So, there's some stuff here. There's a little bit of meat on the bone. Even yeah. Luck has had a decent games. I could see a playoff run potentially for G. I agree. Not not an amazing team. Not nothing I'm scared about, but it's respectable for sure. Ditto. I don't. I'm not predicting a playoff run. I just think there's enough stuff there. Maybe a Stephon Diggs bounces back. That right. he could be interesting for sure. Okay, let's get on to the guy that is on an absolute tear right now. The Cougs, <laughs> number seven. <laughs> Holy smokes! The Cougs <laughs> and the Cougs, for that matter. They're both on fire, man. <laughs> can, can we first say I'm just looking at this team right here? I, I do this almost every year, dating back to Alfred Morris, drafting him and then dropping him. Yeah. David Johnson last year. Who was it this year? 
Spencer Ware, baby. Spencer Ware's been a beast. Jay Ajayi. I, I drafted Spencer. Now it's killing me. And by Where the way, I, I did give Coog some commentary, and I, I don't think it read very well. I think it said something like he takes crap and make brownies out of it. <laughs> what I was trying to say is the guy's a genius with nothing. So I don't know if I can <laughs> came no, out. Got, my way. It wasn't literally all that there. powerful, but holy cow. What in the heck? <laughs> what do you do with this? I mean, it doesn't look great on paper. I'm looking at it right now. Charles is the best. The the quarterback the total bust. Quarterback situation is pretty sketchy still. Yeah. Um, but, but the nice thing with Charles is that he's getting nothing. So where, even though Charles is back, we're still a stud. See that? And that's where I think Cleats is struggling because he, he can't play Hill or Bernard. So what do you do there? You know? <laughs> right. They both went off last week. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're vulturing each other. Charles is taking nothing from Spencer. Yep. Ward. That's huge. And then the, the savvy pickup, Golden Tate, right? This poor G finally gives up on him, and then Golden Tate goes off, and now he's pulling eight, nine balls a game. Man. Uh, that's a nice pair for it with A.J. Green. And it, it comes down to, I think his playoffs hopes rest on DeAndre Hopkins. What in the world? For, for DeAndre yeah. Hopkins with Brock Osweiler, dude. You yeah. and Brian Hoyer can the rock. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I'd say this with Cougs. I don't love it on paper. I'm still not scared of it. But there's something about Coogs GMing that really spooks me. If, if one of the top six is getting knocked out of the playoff run, Coogs yep. is going to be the person to do it. Yep. Uh, I, I still need to get the new updated uh, records up. I haven't done that. So I'll get that up later tonight. All right. Let's look at the Woodcocks. Um, is, that a, is that just a Woodcock or a small, small Woodcock? Swindle, <laughs> wood, tiny woodcocks. Tiny woodcocks. Um, oh boy, looks amazing okay. on paper. I would uh, you put that next to Coog, and I would pick woodcocks all day long. And what does he have to show for it? Basically nothing. They've been super duper consistent. No bad weeks. He did hit at eighteen hundred, I think, but n- nothing. No monster weeks. Yeah. So you know what you're going to get 15 to 1800 just about week in, week out. So if you're going to beat him head up, you got to, you can't lay a crapper down at all. You got to bring it. And it's so weird because there's nobody exploding. I mean, Brady has for him for sure a couple weeks been yep. 500 plus points, but most of his skill guys, like no, Odell's laid a couple turds and he's had a couple of huge games, but everyone's in the two. And a lot of turds. Every, yeah, everything's in the 200 range, even his bench. It's not like he's looking at his bench going, wow, I yeah. should have played this guy. I mean, they're all about the same. CJ Anderson's going to be one to watch because he started off really good and then it, it petered out real fast and Booker's stealing a lot of carries. But he yeah. had a pretty good game last night. And then is DeMarco Murray for real or not? At this point, we're halfway in. He spot off Derrick Henry. Can he stay healthy? He's in a cruddy offense, but he's getting it done every week, so. I agree. DeMarco's been amazing. Um, Alan Robinson. Wow. We may revisit that in a little bit. All right, let's look at Healer. What do you make of this squad? All right, Arm Healer. Arm Healer, at the beginning of the year, Arm Healer's squad honestly made me laugh. And Arm Healer's squad is just tough now. The Ryan, Matt Ryan pickup was a huge one because that was a major weakness for him. Yep. He's dropping Bortles out every week. Yep. Um, Ezekiel Elliott's been amazing. I, I was wrong there. I picked him as a bust, but he's you picked him as a major bust. You were strong on that too. I was really. In fact, someone dropped him on me in our auction in my other league, and I was so I wanted Lamar Miller bad. <laughs> and Keels, Keels, thank you. Uh, he dropped Ezekiel on me. He gave me this little grin, and so then he ended up with Lamar Miller. And I, <laughs> I called him Sunday. And I said, "Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it." Yep. So uh, I still think there's a little bit of fool's gold here, like. Crowell, I just can't see Crowell. He had a few big games. I don't see him being a consistent guy. Yeah. Uh, the receivers are a little sketch, but now with Gronk back healthy, he makes up for some weaknesses in other places. So yeah. it's hard to not see a playoff squad when I look at this, especially if Carlos Hyde comes back healthy. I agree. I That's agree. Good-looking good team. Brandon Marshall, Doug Baldwin, is, he needs maybe one more consistent receiver week in and week out. But Yep. All right. Let's, let's, get to, let's get to the top four here. This is where I think another tier opens up because I do think from day one, we've said Verge is the team to beat. And I think in a lot of ways he still is. Verge has a, a beastful squad still on paper. I so agree. 
my concerns there, obviously Russ, and it's mostly a health thing. When he's uh, creating magic with his legs and adding like 30 and 40 rushing yards and then extending plays and hitting deep balls, that's just – he's fantasy glory. And I was going to say that's plus 200 points a week. <laughs> is he going to get there or not? It's a little bit spooky right now if he ever gets there. Yep. Rivers, Rivers just doesn't have the same ceiling, but Rivers is startable. Yep, I agree. But I think that could be the difference between being really good and, a, and then a championship caliber squad. David Johnson is ridiculous. Dude, I cry a tear every time I watch him destroy guys. <laughs> <laughs> my $1 keeper. Oh. Man, he's tough. And he, it's like Latavius, eh, don't love it. But he's not going to – he's never going to – he's never going to give you nothing. He's going right. to give minimum. Yep, the weeks he's going to be healthy and he's in there. Yep. At least be okay. The receivers are a little bit – I mean, T.Y. has actually been pretty good. Yep. There's still some boomer bust quality, but – Almost every receiver is showing that this year. So, and all, I'm telling you, Verge, Alshon is garbage. I said it from <laughs> he's so garbage. I don't care who's playing quarterback. He's garbage. Cameron uh, Meredith is putting up better numbers. Who's Cameron Meredith? Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a Gary Moss right there, but still. Okay. Yeah, Pryor is a good pickup, too, though, by the way. Pryor's nice, yeah. All right. Yeah, number yeah, number three, bad. we're going with the rehab boys, Fosby. Well, yeah. I, I, I've thought about my team way too much. What do you see? <laughs> this team uh i i really like what you've done with this squad Gurley still sucks but he gets so many touches that he never kills you uh will he be able to start churning out some big runs and instead of two yards per carry <laughs> he busted out a six yarder on sunday i was so pumped <laughs> like, what he got plus 12 in one play <laughs> oh man drew Brees. the the home and road splits are honestly shocking if you look at it but yeah. uh We'll see where that goes. So the home games are just so amazing. So, and that affects Cook some. Love Mike Evans. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the bench. Le'Veon, dude. Le'Veon is so safe just because of the yardage, the flat yardage totals. That he hasn't scored yet, and he's averaging over 300 points a game. Yeah. I love Le'Veon. Um, Landry's a good, safe receiver. And then we'll see. Terrence West, uh, Eifert, Fleener, Rudolph. There's some options. And enough depth there. If you're going Gurley, Le'Veon, Cooks, Evans, Landry, I mean, that's a, that, with Breeze, that's a squad that's going to compete all the way to the end. And you've kind of been on fire. Yep, we'll see how it goes. Start, things are starting to break. All right, stump the Schwab. Let's see what we got there. Schwabby. Well, I see Wonder. this week he's starting Dak Prescott, which oh, yeah, he needs actually big, big is, is not crazy. It's a little crazy, yeah. but <laughs> you might start Mariota. We'll Melvin see. Gordon was the guy we all wanted. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he was there for a dollar. None of us wanted him. Jeez, I wanted him. Like I, I think I was out of money. I, <laughs> if I remember right. I was like, crap! I just paid seventeen for Matt Jones. <laughs> I wanted Danny Woodhead. I got Danny Woodhead. He dropped like three hundred something the first week, and then tore his ACL. The worst. And I like Keenan Allen. I got one hundred sixty-six points from Keenan in the first quarter. Well, Schwab is my nemesis, and now uh, Gordon's a stud because of Woodhead's injury. Kills me. Yeah. Every week, one thing you can guarantee, week one of the fantasy season, Schwab is going to beat me. That's how yeah. we open the year every year. Dang it, Schwab. <laughs> yep. I, I feel like his team is such an accurate representation of the Schwab, right? Kind of older, wirely veteran kind of guys. LeGarrette, Fitzgerald, <laughs> Crabtree. I mean, these are like Macklin. These guys are – They've been around the block a few times. They just know how to get it done. That it's a great representation of the Schwab. The Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman thing is the one. If Coleman keeps pilfering from him, then I'm not sure he's got a true number one back unless Lamar Miller gets going. Yeah. Right now, Blunt, Gordon, Freeman, Miller. That's four guys that are all in that same ballpark. It's a little spooky who to start every week. Right. They're all in that fifteen to twenty five range. So Yep. And Miller finally had a monster the week before last, but we'll see where that goes. And number one, just just by record, the Stiz Hawks, not just because you're the guy who writes the, the column. You've got the uh, you've got the record to prove it. So talk to me. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I keep thinking Frank Gore is gonna hit a wall and he just doesn't, and it's like holy cow. One sixty is his worst week this year, dude. And probably wow. 260 is his best. Just That's the definition of just – The Woodcocks. Oh, man, it's amazing. Solid every week. 
Yeah, Stafford's been – I look at it on paper and I honestly think that's a pretty good team. When LaShawn's in there doing his thing, that's an upper echelon team. The way you've managed through injuries with Dez out, with – I mean, you've had Dez out, Rawls out, Aaron Corey retired. Coleman. Yeah, um, Decker, Decker, Woodhead, Corey yeah. Coleman. There's a lot. Man, I, I, I just – I don't know what to say other than you somehow got a – a respectable, pretty good startable squad. I, I would rather play you than Verge or Stump the Schwab. I think that's fair. I, I was telling the Schwab this weekend, it's weird. Like, I ended up not quite getting first in points. I thought I had a decent chance to get first in points. I knew I was going to have first in record. And I was looking at my squad going, there's a lot of question marks still for being in this position like halfway through a fantasy season. Totally. Yeah, it, it does. It all mean, comes back. Does it screw up Michael? How much? Is that a timeshare? And both those guys become worthless. That could happen. Right. What's Des going to be when he comes back? Is he going to be a stud or not? Cobb yeah. is kind of rounding into form, which is nice. Jones has been a good number two most weeks. And then that mo- monster week that he had. So, and Gore's a steady number two. So, And then LaShawn has been um, LaShawn um, right up there with the elite until now the hammy. And how much is that going to screw me? So, if he's okay. back... Hopefully one week. I need I need Gillisley to to play a lot. <laughs> so that brings us to our next got like eighteen yards. <laughs> that brings us to our next segment, which is called "Who Are You Picking?" So uh, we'll read two uh, teams that are playing head to head this week. Um, the first team will be represented by a number one. If you think they're going to uh, win, you're going to put up a one, and if you think the second team is going to win, you put up a number two. So the first matchup is. Fosby against Healer. Um, projections are pretty favorable in Healer's advantage due to half my team on by. So, uh, Rehab Boys put up a one. Arm Healer put up a two on three. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. I'm betting I'm against on, my I'm team. Healer on the matchups for this one. Yep. Healer also in the playoffs. <laughs> when I'm loaded up, and it'll be a different story. Okay, let's move on. This next one's not even really worth doing, but hey, let's do it anyways. Uh, tiny bloody sack ball against the Schwab. Uh, Paul's one, Schwab is two. On three, one, two, three. Schwabby. No upsets, okay. <laughs> Keep moving right along. Champs or chumps against the Coog? Um, Entry's one, Coog is two. Place your bets in three, two, one. You on the Coog. Yep. I'm, I'm picking the coup. Yeah, not too many exciting matchups yet. This next one, uh, projections are spicy. They're within 30. It's Stump versus Wood. And uh, the projections are 31 points, so it's 15 and a half yards um, is what ESPN says. So Stump is one, Woodcock's two. Place your bets in three, two, one. I can't jinx myself. Go <laughs> with Doc's on film. I'm going to take you down in real life. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, uh, Big Daddy against Verge. And Verge is projected plus 300 on this matchup. So Big Daddy's but one, Verge is two. Not all. It's only plus three, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Place your bets in three, two, one. <laughs> so we got twos all the way around here. So this. Leads us to our last segment. If you disagree with those picks, tell us why. Um, we just want to talk about three players. We're going to talk about Jay Ajayi, Alan Robinson, and Mike Evans. And Jay Ajayi and Alan Robinson are two guys that we got to ask the question, what do you do? As an Ajayi owner, let's, for instance, I thought about legitimately sending Gurley over to Cougs for Jay Ajayi. <laughs> so crazy. I love that. I, I, and I actually thought about Ty Montgomery, too, and I thought, well, he's going to get 10 carries and catch <laughs> five to 10 balls and he, if he gets more than two yards a carry. So what I, do you do I heard with, they just opened up running back status for him, too. They did. did. What, do you do, what do you do with J.J. right now, if you own J.J.? I mean, if it's me, I'm riding the streak. Back-to-back 200-yard games, it was like – the list was like O.J. Simpson. I don't know. There's like three guys on it that's pulled out before. Like Arian Foster, O.J., and Marshall Falk or something. And Jay yes. Ajayi. <laughs> Ajayi had his name to it. So I'm riding that thing out. That being said, if somebody brings me an offer of a legitimate proven stud, yeah, it could be a sell high. It could cost you, but I'm thinking long and hard about that. 
Yeah, I think I think if you're Coog, JHI, if if someone comes with JHI, I think you got to say, hey, I'll take Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Le'Veon Bell, and other guys I might consider. But uh, yeah. you just, I mean, you're gonna get laughed at. But he's gonna be the one laughing all the way to the championship game. The way he's going. Would anybody be shocked if Ajayi goes 14 carries for 41 yards next week? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after like but, four, but, five but those yards per carry are better than Gurley's. <laughs> yeah, and so are mine. <laughs> That's pushing three yards a carry. <laughs> so uh, if you're E-Dub right now, Allen Robinson owner, what a mess in Jacksonville. It's just ugly. Like – this is where I, I want to see, like, offenses. You draft, you draft players, but you're really drafting offenses. Who's going to be the offense I can build around? And it's a mess. What do you do if you're Allen Robinson owner? See, okay. So, my, uh, one other team that I'm doing, I had one spot in my roster. I had a lot of depth, and I had one open spot at receiver where I, I wanted to get stronger. And I thought, I'm going to offer a guy a trade and get Allen Robinson. This is like three weeks ago. I'm going to buy low. I'm going to get Allen Robinson. Because I figured his numbers were going to go down because the Jacksonville Jaguars were actually going to be decent. They were going to be in games. There wasn't going to be garbage time. And then it was pretty obvious there's going to be a lot of garbage time here. I thought his numbers were going to take off. He's going to my bench. I don't see how you can play him at this point. He's got a, at least a week, if not two weeks in a row, prove it to me. It's, it's a <laughs> one catch for nine yards. Wow. I mean, the list of guys that are outperforming – Allen Robinson right now. It's laughable. That's a long list. What number is he? Do we even know? Oh, I haven't even looked. I'm going to check real quick. You have to uh, scroll down a few pages. I know that. <laughs> I'm pulling up the Woodcock team. Let's see. Allen Robinson is the number 48 ranked receiver right now. And that's because he had one good game. Dude. Imagine if he didn't have that one good game. I mean, that means goodness. he's a borderline number five receiver. That means he's droppable at this point. Yep. That's nuts. So if you're yeah, E-Dub. I'm not giving up hope, of course. I would not ever think about dropping a guy with that proven production last year. Yeah. No, no sign other than I uh, was talking to a guy today. He said he had like four drops in the game. Robinson did. So I, I don't actually watch Jacksonville. So I don't know. That might be a big part of the problem. but. Yeah, scary. Yeah. The other guy that's got a lot of drops in their catchable balls is Demarius Thomas over the last couple of years. That's concerning. Yeah. Forever. Since he came to the league. It's just you bad. Got to in that way. You got to just live with the bad. Yeah. You're going to do a lot of good. All right. The, guy, the, the last guy I want to talk about tonight is Mike Evans. I drafted Mike <laughs> Evans thinking I think he'd be a top 10 guy. And I even I thought if he could finish in the top five, that'd be. Miraculous. He's number six right now. Yeah. Leading the NFL in touchdowns, receptions with Crabtree, with six grabs. And I just thought, man, if you're a Mike Evans owner, which I am, <laughs> what do you do right now? Do you, do you stay put? Or do you, do you package an Evans and a Gurley and try and go get top-notch, top-tier guy, such as an Antonio Brown? Um, I I wouldn't hate that trade, but I would say I I look at Mike Evans as like a top five receiver now. The guy is just straight balling. I really like him. I think last year he came into his rookie year over a thousand yards and I think double digit TDs. Last year, more yardage and like two, three touchdowns, and that's the thing because he's a touchdown maker, always has been. So I'm not surprised to see the touchdowns coming back. Um, I think he's definitely for real. Now, if I could turn him into a top tier, he, he and Gurley into David Johnson, I don't think well, we're just doing it, but I, I'm thinking about that. Uh, that's a good point, yeah. But right now, he's a must start every week. So, Man, that yeah. guy is just killing it. All right, anyone else you want to talk about tonight before we wrap this up? Uh, no, I think we gave plenty of viewing right there. I have no <laughs> idea how long we just went. But <laughs> it's if you good. stayed the whole time, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like our page and uh if we get enough good commentary on this we'll do it again I, we should like we should add some at the end here and just for the people who stuck all the way through like sometimes on a long assignment 
I'll tell like right in there, like stand up and balk like a chicken to my students, and then <laughs> like the three who make it there get up. <laughs> we found somebody. You have to post something on the message board if you. Yeah, if you've made it this far, go to this website. <laughs> <laughs> go to the message board and and uh, pull like a Jim Gaffigan or Brian Regan quote. That's what we need. Yeah, give us some material. Give us some love. Our wives put up with this. My wife is listening over there. <laughs> she listened to this whole thing. So My you boys can are waiting for me to put them to bed. So yeah, don't. Uh, we're gonna keep these coming. I don't know if they'll be every week, but we'd love to uh, do a Google Hangout. We've talked about this, so. Keep your eyes posted for some information about that. Maybe a Sunday afternoon, we watch some games, and I'll hop in and and talk some fantasy as we do it. It'd be a lot yeah, of fun. just keep just keep the the room open all day. Come in as you want, leave as you want. Yeah, the yeah. league just keeps getting better when I don't think it can. Brilliant <laughs> idea here, assistant commission. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, thanks so much. Good job, commission. Best of luck to everyone and to all you number two teams. I guess you're winning. Have a good weekend. See ya. <laughs> See ya.